It's Sunday morning. I'm going to come down there. I don't feel good. Um, I feel sick. My head's banging. I'm, I'm so, 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 so tired. I don't know what I'm going to do today. It's like half past ten now, but I've been nervous at the time. It's quarter past two on Sunday now. I don't know if I filmed today. I think I filmed a little like ten second clip when I was out. But today I got up with a hangover and I went to breakfast and one of the guests took me off for quite a long time and then when someone came in the room I practically ran off after an hour of it. Um I've been to town with the landlady who's absolutely lovely, she's called Karen. We had a walk down to town and went in a few shops and then we had some lunch, so I actually I had a second one meal today, which I've not been having. Um, I've just come back, well I've been back about an hour, sorting some stuff out on my laptop and charging it. And I'm going to go to Asda now and get um, something for my evening meal and get a drink, like um, a Dr Pepper and a, a cold coffee. Hopefully I'll have a Dr Pepper because every time I've been They've only had one or two left, and um, yeah, I want a Dr. Pepper, so I'm hoping there's some. And I'm hoping they have fresh sandwiches on Sunday because I don't know if they do or if they don't. So that's what I'm going to be doing. It's going to be about 20 past two when I get to my car, and it's like 10 minutes away. It's probably not even 10 minutes away, so it shuts at four. The one in Blackburn shuts at half four, but yeah. Um, probably won't be able to park when I get back. I'm not even parked outside like normal either. I'm literally up on the top road. Um just out the pound like the one hour parking bay. It's just outside that but there's not much parking around here. But there's a parking space at the back of the hotel which if needs be I'll park in there but I'd rather have it out front if I can or up at the top. So we'll see what I can do. I've emailed my friend who lives locally and I sent a really rubbish picture going can you guess where I am? It's obvious I'm on the coast somewhere, but it could be at any coast, so I don't know if he's going to guess it, but we'll see. If my friend guesses where I am and wants to meet up, I'm going to obviously meet up with him. Um, yeah, at least once, obviously, because I'm like down here and he lives 300 miles away, so I will be meeting up with my friend. Whilst I'm down here because it'd be stupid not to. It's actually not as cold today, which is good. I think it's something like 8 degrees and it was 2 yesterday. So even though it's not massively warm and it's colder because of the sea, it's still quite warm compared to what it was. I'm still frozen now, um, but it's not too bad and because I'm only going to Asda I'm not going to take my scarf. But I might walk up to my car with it so then it's in my car just in case. I love this scarf because you can wear it either grey or light up side out. Go for a look side out because that's the way around it is. But I will 
be leaving in the car unless I'm absolutely frozen. And hangovers are evil. I couldn't even drink that much, but I get a hangover of one. So, I'm hungover. This is not good. But, it could be worse. Everything could be worse. I mean, I don't think my life could get any worse than what it is, but everything could be worse. So I'm gonna go. It's like 20 past two now. I'm gonna go to Asda and then come back. outside which I never thought I'd ever do but I'm not gonna see these people again so it's okay. <laughs> um, God it has actually gone chillier from an hour ago or two hours ago I can't remember when I went out but the wind has definitely picked up. I don't even know if you can hear me or because I just had my finger over the mic. which is actually good because I left here at 25 past 2 so as you drive there, do the shopping and come back and it's only 5 to 3, it's good I thought I would just show you what I've got I spent quite a bit which is not good because I'm on a severe budget but I'll just show you what I've got so first off I've got these cold cold dairy free yogurts um, a dairy free soy, soy free alternative to yogurt maybe coconut milk and yoghurt cultures. It sounds really nice and I I don't really <coughs> like yoghurt but I try to eat dairy free when I can so I've, I think I've heard of these but they don't do in my Asda so I got them <coughs> then of course I got Dr Pepper because I have to have one a day then I got this to help me with my hangover then I got Tropicana and Orange Lotus so Aids I got Four drinks, which I probably shouldn't have done because I'm on a budget. I should have got that and either that or that and that or that and that. Then, what I've been having every day, even though I don't really like cheese, but it's a pound cheese and tomato sandwich. Then I got this, which I had the other day, but I weren't going to get it today until it was reduced to 34p. And it's originally a pound, but they've reduced it once, twice today. So I got that. Then, what I've been getting every day, mini sausages, then a packet of grapes, then I saw these, and I absolutely love coconut, but they don't do these in Blackburn Master. So even though I'm on a budget, I just thought I'd treat myself to that. Normally what I would buy would be the sandwich, that and that. But yesterday I got one of them, the day before I got that, but I never get all four because I'm on a budget. The first day I got one of them and I've been getting them every day because they're 55p but normally this is what I normally would have bought and that has been my food most days I have been getting porridge as well so I'd have a little pot of porridge as well but I've gone a bit out today but I do need to eat I'm going to end up with a 
on my folds my dad for ages. I bet my cat's house sausages. I'm hungry. Don't these biscuits look so good?